Hello, I'm Joseph Ruback, and I want to show you some basic techniques for getting started on the dulcimer. First of all, tune the dulcimer to DAD tuning. DAD tuning gives you the best range of motion down low where you can get more notes with less movement. If you use DAA tuning, you have to go higher up the neck, and there's nothing wrong with that. But again, it's just conserving how much motion you can get for how many notes you can get. Okay, uh, one thing about tuning is get a little clip-on tuner of some sort. You can clip it onto the headstock somehow or just set it on your dulcimer. It's really good to make sure that you are in uh, good tuning. Just check it from time to time. Another basic is get a product called Fast Fret or something that's a string cleaner and it lubricates the fretboard. The fretboard on a dulcimer is it's real necessary to keep it clean but it's real necessary to keep it lubricated too. I've played a number of dulcimers that played very hard but it was mostly because they had a very dry fretboard and when you're moving that's pretty extreme, but you're going to be doing where you're holding your finger on the string and sliding back and forth. So you want to have the fretboard lubricated. Okay, so the first thing is three simple chords, D chord. Now because this is D, A, D tuning, you can play it here or here play a G here or here. I personally like the lower range. It's more of a mid-range for playing backup for singing and backup for other instrumentation. So I'm going to show you everything with the lower range and if you want to switch it, that's all it takes is to do it on the high-pitched string. So the first chord is a D chord. Very simple. To get to the G chord, you just move the finger up, again sliding it, and put the third finger down thusly. So D, G, and the thing about a video is you can stop the video and take a screenshot so that you can have all of these chords in a, a photo file. So D, G, D, and when you're playing the G you might say, well I don't really have enough reach on my fingers to get that out there. If that's the case, you turn your hand and you can gain another inch or so of reach. So D, turn your hand, G. So that's D, G, D. And the A, these two fingers, the third and fourth, are propped right over the first fret and you just drop them down so that you're holding that for an A. In a future video I'll talk more about chord structure, but that gives you D, G, D, A. And for now that's all I'm going to go into because it's more the technique of figuring out how to play the chords for songs and uh, fiddle tune backup. So when you're playing you can play straight strum. You can play back and forth. Or you can do a one and a. And another technique is to hit the first string just lightly and strum across. It's kind of an offbeat stroke. come in handy and when I play I'll play a little bit of Columbus Stockade and try to use all of those techniques at one point so um, the chords in the uh, verse here are D and A way down in Columbus Georgia I want to be back in Tennessee way down Columbus, 
not gay My friends have turned their backs on me Okay, so that's just a view of the different strums that you can use. So when playing songs, uh, very simply, you can use a D, a G, and an A. You're going to start off playing in the key of D and the chord D. And when you hear something that doesn't sound right, when you're trying to figure out where the next chord goes, you only have a G or an A to go to. So you try one, and if it doesn't work, you go to the other. So, Old MacDonald had a farm. Old MacDonald had a... Something doesn't sound right there. So, we'll try going to the A. Old MacDonald had a... No, that's not right. Try going to the G. Old MacDonald had a farm. Farm. So, it was the G. Old MacDonald had a farm. And when you're going there, you're going to hold that G for a certain amount of time. Maybe you'll need to change back to the D right away. Maybe uh, it'll take a, a couple strokes, and maybe it'll go somewhere else. But basically, it's just, Old MacDonald had a farm. And then some more listening. E-I, E-I, E-I. So we'll try the G. E-I, E-I. No. E-I, E-I, O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. So a little bit of circle be unbroken. Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, by and by. Try the A. By and by, no. By and by, Lord, by and by. By and by, Lord, by and by. So you need to change back to the D, but it held a little longer than the first example. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the in the sky, Lord, in in the sky, Lord, in the sky. So that's how you figure your songs out. Very simply. And all you do to, um, if that isn't, doesn't suit your voice, to pl be playing in that key of D, you get a dulcimer capo. And put it on the third fret. And now you're in the key of G. And this is called playing D shapes in the key of G. It's because you're playing the same shapes that you were down here, only now it's G, C, G, D. And if you go up one more, you're playing in the key of A. So if you're Voc vocals don't work with D, get a cut capo and try it on G or A. Now this particular capo is made by Ron Ewing, that's E-W-I-N-G, Ron Ewing Dulcimers. It's a very good one. If any of you folks out there make dulcimer capos, and you want to put a note under this that you also make them, go right ahead. The more uh, opportunities, the better. So, so that's how you would get a chance to try to figure out some real basic songs. Now, you can also use this, these chords for playing backup for other people or for fiddle tunes. So here's backup for Arkansas Traveler. Da 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 So that's how chording will work for you. And it just takes some experimenting. You got your E, G, E, A. Now as far as a couple of melodies go, pick kid tunes or Christmas songs, something that's already in your head. 
And when you're starting out trying to figure out a tune, it's either going to start on a D, an F sharp, or an A most of the time. So um, as far as where to get started, you just listen, and if it starts low and goes high, I would start like, so twinkle, twinkle. out where to go just experiment around and if you go no and you can figure out lots of little tunes that way um, also don't be afraid to go down onto these other strings you got that scale too. So, uh, a Christmas song that works very well and it's very easy is Joy to the World. Um, you know, it starts high. Da, 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 da. So, I would start experimenting somewhere. No, that's not quite right. Uh, Cutting to the shortcut here, this is a D, and this is a D, octave. So it's going to start here, and when you have the extra fret, you just have to experiment and figure out where to put your fingers, so. No, so I'll skip this one. And then you know you're going to be coming back up somewhere, and no, yes. Sounding it out. So that's how you would kind of figure out some melodies to um, start playing. So that's a few basics. It showed, showed you how to play some chords, how to tune using the fast fret, a few different strums and you can get started with that and see how it goes. There will be other videos that show more uh, techniques in depth, but this is a good start for you.